Hi, I'm Mary Ellen Camiri. I'm Professor of Food Science and Human Nutrition at the University of Maine. Cocoa comes from the cocoa plant and it is a pod containing many seeds. We might call them cocoa beans, but they're, they're actually seeds. They're then dried, then roasted, which makes them dark in color and taste better, and also kills bacteria. Chocolate liquor is what happens when you grind the seeds up after roasting. And that's made up of cocoa butter or cocoa fat, and then the dry part is cocoa itself. Dark chocolate has at least 35% chocolate liquor. Milk chocolate has 10%. White chocolate has none. But white chocolate does have cocoa butter in it. Milk chocolate and white chocolate both contain dairy or milk solids added to them. And they all contain sugar. Chocolate, because of the fat content, generally doesn't spoil. But people might see a white coating on the surface. That's called chocolate bloom, and that's just the cocoa butter rising to the surface of the chocolate. Room temperature is the best for chocolate. Well, the health benefits of chocolate are due to the flavanols that are in chocolate, but there's also sugar and caffeine and protein and magnesium and even some calcium in the dairy-based chocolates. So there's a lot of good nutrition in there that can give you energy. White chocolate has no caffeine, the other two do, but in very low amounts. The exciting research that's emerging is that chocolate is good for cardiovascular health. It may even be good for your memory. The sweetness in chocolate certainly helps improve mood, but there's growing evidence. Eating chocolate actually helps you think more clearly. There's you know, still a lot more research that needs to be done, but if you feel better after having chocolate, go ahead and have a piece. Like anything that's rich in calories, you want to be careful with it. But some of the evidence looking at people over time shows that a little bit of chocolate every day does seem to make a difference in health.